Clemson means to me, uh, it's a place where I truly found myself. Um, I was a boy when I arrived there, 18 years old. And I feel in those five years that I became a man, I made a lot of lifelong friendships that people I'm still close with today, some of my best friends. Um, I met my wife there. Without Clemson, I don't think I met where I met today. You know, it's always home. That's where I grew up at. They teach you how to be a man. That was the first time I ever lived with somebody mm -hmm. that I didn't know. Being roommates with y'all actually saved me. I don't know if y'all remember. When I first came to Clemson and I moved with y'all, I was wearing slop socks and, and jean shorts. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So I think the most fun thing about that whole process was, you know, we was off campus. It was the first time that we actually got off campus on our own. And we all was in the same grind, trying to make, trying to make, um, you know, make first string in that position. And we wasn't just roommates, and we was just kicking it. We was actually motivating each other. It took me longer to get on the field than y'all guys. So for me, that was early on. Like it was a, it was a gift and a curse. Like it was cool watching y'all, seeing y'all shine early mm -hmm. and be successful. But it was also a curse because I'm like, man, when's my time gonna come? So you know, you find yourself comparing and contrasting, that's when I really learned, like, yo, you gotta run your race. Yeah. Because everybody's race is different. You wasn't afraid to ask Gil questions about doing something. Yeah. I wasn't afraid to ask Dre about doing something. Yeah. We, nobody was ever It was never pride. Other. The stuff that comes with being an athlete and being a football player, it's the reason why all these companies want athletes or former athletes in their building, because we come with something different that just is wired in us through the process that we learn. Played in league, played in college. These companies look for, you know, guys with determination like us. When you go in these these uh, business offices, they want people that are determined, that are, that are, that are um, how can I say it, that are competitive. Even outside of football, like just being an example and being a guy like on how to be a husband, how to be a father, how to be a brother. I remember um, when I was younger, we started doing mat drills outside. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers actually just won the Super Bowl. And like two days later, um, Nick Easter came back and he was doing mat drills with us outside. And they, they were breaking them off, you know, but I think the fact that I was like scared to ask him questions and I was like waiting for him to like ask me, you know, say something to me, initiate the conversation. I think that that gray area is something that I wanna, that we need to eliminate. You know, like I want them to be able to like come up like, yo Jarvis, like what's it like playing in the league or, you know, not afraid to ask questions. We're, what, a decade apart, and we, we all still family. How long has it been since we all been back? Since we left? All four of us? Mm-hmm. It's been about 10 years. I think we need to go to Clemson, bro. Because it, it definitely looks different. <laughs> Are you in the whip? Can you talk? Yeah. Me and, me and J3 over here chopping it up. Man, check him out, man. Ooh, Red Guts. What do you remember the most about our UV days? The up and the up and downstairs parties we used to throw all the time. Oh, I knew you was gonna pick that one. Hey, what you in? Oh, <laughs> them seats don't look like nothing. <laughs> you about to go see Trey? Yeah, I'm about to walk in the crib right now. Already, for sure. All right, all right, I hit y'all. All right. Hey, hey come on. Time. <laughs> I just got off the phone with uh, Sense and J3. Man, that's crazy, bro. I remember like all of us, like the first time we all went to Zaxby's. Oh yeah, I thought that was fine dining. Yeah, facts. I, I thought that was a five-star restaurant. Yeah, so I had no clue. To Just seeing each other go through the ups and downs of college, you know, and helping one another because it's, it's people out here who, who don't want to help one another, man. And we've all been where we ain't have money to eat, bro. Yeah. Like, you had to pay that rent like six months in advance. Yeah, we had to. Had Sometimes one of us didn't have money to eat, but we had each other. So I, I think that's where the, the, the bond and the brotherhood just continued to gel and, and we're still here today. We always helped each other with whatever it was. If it's interior decorating, if it's art, if it's music, if it's cars, it doesn't matter. If it's investing, we know that we can pick up the phone and call one another and I mean, that's, that's what Clemson did for us. It, it, it made four dudes from the South coming from completely different cities, but like you said, having the exact same parenting when it comes to just great structure and great parenting, jail and become one, 
and and becoming brothers, man. My wife tell me all the time, what is it about that Clemson? Y'all always <laughs> talking about it. Y'all always on it. And then I took her to Clemson to a game, and she was like, I, I get, get it, it now. It puts this family-oriented. It just feels like one big other. family reunion. Yeah.